What's up everybody? My name is Michael Call. A lot of you know me as the Tri Fisher. And today we're going to be going over how to add fresh line on your spinning reel. So let's get started. Let's talk about some items that you're going to need for uh, successfully loading fresh line onto your spinning reel. First thing is a pair of scissors never hurts, okay? And they're going to come in really handy today. The other thing is you want to make sure you have some fresh line. Today I'm going to be going with 12 pound monofilament and I have purchased up to 330 yards. So that's more than enough to fit around my reel. Okay guys, so the next step is to make sure that you match up the proper fishing line with the reel. The way that you figure this out is if you look at the side of your reel, typically it's going to give you different types of line that it'll take as far as test, right? So particularly today I'm going to be loading 12 pound test onto my reel. It shows me here that I can load 12 pound test and up to 280 yards, right? So whenever you're wondering, spin this bell right here and check to see what kind of line it takes before you load your reel. All right guys, so the next step after we've run the line through the eye is we want to go ahead and attach the line itself to the reel. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of not opening the bell. They forget to open that bell. And what happens is once they've loaded and tied down the line, they then can't reel it because they forgot to open the bell. So the first step, open the bell. Voila. All right guys, so I brought in a different um, reel with some really heavy tests because I wanted to make sure you guys can see everything for this next step. It's a really, really important step, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my tag in, and I'm actually gonna make two loops just wrap around the inside of our reel, okay? And then I'm gonna get that nice and tight, and the next step is I'm actually gonna do two loop knots, okay? Back-to-back -back loop knots. Here's the first one. We're gonna go ahead and tie that down. And then we're gonna do one more loop knot, okay guys? So let's, here's, here goes the second one. We're gonna get that nice and snug and tight. Cinch it down, and the reason we wanna get it really tight is because we don't want it to be spinning in circles while we try to reel in our excess line, right? All right guys, now the final step, of course, is to go ahead and cut the tag in. We don't want there to be a bunch of like excess line because potentially that could just cause future tangles and also poor casting as you run lower on line itself. So. Let's go ahead and cut this right here at the knot, nice and tight, and now you're ready to shut the bell and start reeling. All right guys, so now we've shut our bell. The next thing we wanna do is we actually, I'm gonna put my hand up on the, the actual pole itself, and I'm gonna run the line through my hand where there's a little bit of tension, okay? The reason I'm doing that is because if you load your line too loosely, what can happen is that it can fly off your rod later and uh, can cause you a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse and we'll see you in just a second here. All right guys, so a lot of people ask the question, well, when do we know when to stop loading line? Typically, I'm gonna stop loading line once it gets right to the edge of this little bevel right here where there's that little crease that shoots inward. When we get right to the edge of that, I don't wanna go any further because at that point we're overloading our reel. So this is kind of the sweet spot right here. If you can uh, pack it into this point, that's a good thing. All right guys, well I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like if you did. And also if you'd like to follow along with my weekly fishing adventures, then I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel as well. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, we'll see you guys later.